Okay, just fucking at the point. Welcome back, Sluckins. So today I'm going to show you guys what I eat because I've heard a lot of people are very jealous of my very great body. I mean, who wouldn't be? So let's start with breakfast. The first thing I like to make for myself is a really good yummy salad. A lot of these salads, they're very like green and they're very boring and they taste like my ex's mouth. We don't want to go for that taste. You kind of marinate it with a lot of dressing and that way you don't really feel the greeny, shitty green stuff that you're eating. So this is what I make. When I make something and if it tastes good, I'm shocked myself because I'm like, wow, I really impressed myself with my own cooking. So I'm just gonna show you how to make the salad. So let's start with making the dressing. I got this little cup, whatever you wanna call it, for putting my dressing in, storing it in the fridge and then pouring it out in the morning. This guy smells literally like a bottle of my ex's mouth, like five of my ex's combined together but it does bring your salad to life, just as the bottle says. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Ooh, I hate the taste of vinegar. Ooh. And then we move on to some Thai chili sauce. Imagine I have like an actual restaurant. I would kill everybody. One ounce of sesame oil. And then we have two ounces of tamarind sauce. So I'm just gonna put one good scoop in. And then some brown sugar. I hate the taste of brown sugar too. Like, I don't know what it is. So I really don't um, like these ingredients by itself. But it's just a weird thing when you all put them together, they taste phenomenal. Like, a little bit of brown sugar and I'm gonna go a bit heavy handed on this. And after brown sugar, a few drops of vegetable oil. Why is this called virgin? Why? Who came up with this idea? Why is it virgin? It could be a slutty oil like have you ever thought about that then we have few drops <gasps> wow i really thought of launching a restaurant shit backfired huh few drops of dark soy sauce just gonna add in some salt and pepper take a big spoon and mix that shit up the only two types of greens that my body accepts, arugula and iceberg lettuce. I used to use romaine lettuce, it tasted literally like air. Not my favorite flavor on the planet, so I stopped using that, I only use arugula and iceberg. They do the job for me, you can always put in what you like. It has this crispy texture to it that I don't find in like romaine lettuce. So I washed this whole box of arugula and I just washed my iceberg lettuce and I'm gonna put all of them together now. Salad bowl, number one. A lot of arugula at the bottom. And then I go ahead with my iceberg lettuce. I kind of tear up the lettuce in like bite-sized pieces. And then I add some croutons. I used to be such a bitch. I used to make it from scratch. That's a lot of work, so I'm just gonna buy my croutons from now on. And then I use the Caesar dressing that I bought, just few drops of this guy. Uh, you don't have to again, it's just something that I like to put in. Few drops. And now comes the dressing, he's the only guy that really brings this salad to life. It's, it's a tamarind dressing and I don't think a lot of people have tried this. Trust me, you should. I like to put a little bit of diced onion, this comes like in a box by itself. I get these um, carrot noodles, guys, they're so cool, look at that. So I like that, I kind of chop it up because they're super long, they are like really long carrot noodles. Look at how good that salad looks. Does your man look this good? I don't think so. Oh my god. So yeah, that's what the salad looks like. Right now it's in a very, very healthy state, taking a bite of everything. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you want this banging body, Try this. But if you want kind of like a curvy body, I'm gonna add cheese to this and fuck everything up. And these are grated Parmesan cheese. And now from healthy it becomes to a little not so healthy because I like to put a lot of cheese in my salad. Ooh, this is gonna taste so good. Look at that. The salad just keeps getting better and better. Trust me, I want you to go try this out. Don't put carrots in if you don't like it. Don't put tomatoes in if you don't like it. Don't put croutons. If it's not something you like, don't put it in. And I'm not a huge fan of like raw vegetables, so I love the dressing. Look at that. So I finish up this, the whole salad, the whole thing, watching a TV show early in the morning, I'm editing videos, trying to a lot of my emails. So this guy fills me up to a good 7 p.m. But I don't want to skip lunch, so I'm still going to show you guys what I eat for lunch. But with my salad, sometimes, if I'm feeling really hungry, I would go in with some almond milk. I'm going to show you guys which one I get. So yes, these are the only two. Almond milk, dairy-free, liquid that goes inside my intestines and... Where else this food go? But you get the point. These are the only two things that taste so good. Okay, this is an espresso, this is latte. And then I use some creamer. Again, it's from the same brand, Khalifa. It reminds me of Mia Khalifa. Is, is she like the brand ambassador? But they're like dairy free, which is so cool. I even posted about them on my Instagram and I tagged them and I'm like, I'm never doing it from a cow's tit again. They actually liked my 
messages. So that was unsweetened um, creamer, mix that in, and then I added this guy. This is the Torani white chocolate sauce, or Torani, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is just white, like basic white chocolate sauce. I found out that this is what Starbucks employees use on their white chocolate mocha, and I really like that. Mix that up. I cannot believe this is almond milk. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish my drink and my salad. I'm gonna eat this mother ducker up. So lunchtime, I'm gonna make a chipotle bowl. Last trip, I had chipotle for the very first time. I was in love. It was my favorite thing ever. So when I came back here, I kind of looked up how to make that bowl. And since then, I've been making like a lot of these. It's a long process, but it's so worth it. I'm gonna make the marinade for my chicken. It's very simple. I've done this like a million times. You guys know I don't like blood. I don't use the chicken if there's blood on it. So literally, I have like one piece of chicken. Uh, this is not the chipotle marinade, but I do use this uh, chipotle seasoning blend. Seasoning olive oil. And I add some ginger. This is just my own seasoning. It's not chipotle. Some salt. Lots of pepper. Garlic powder. And then a lot of chili powder. Then a tiny squeeze of lemon juice. Bottle cap size of white vinegar. I'm gonna use this grilling pan. Um, I just cannot bring my camera there. There's like two cameras there anyway. Do not put oil because there's oil in the marinade itself. So you're just gonna grill it. Oh, you put a pinch of salt. I genuinely feel like there's no salt in the chicken whatsoever. And here I have two avocados. I'm gonna put that in as well. So here I have some washed cilantro. I'm just chopping it up. I cannot believe there are some people who don't like coriander, cilantro, like whatever you wanna call it. How? How can someone just like not like cilantro? That's crazy. This has so much flavor in it. It's so strange that a lot of people think that this tastes like like dishwashing liquid soap to some people, which is so weird. Like. This is so important in my culture, like we put this on everything. I'm surprised we don't put this in water and drink it. Here I have some uh, pre-cooked rice. You do add those uh, jalapeno peppers to your guac, but I genuinely don't like peppers, so I'm gonna skip that, but you can always add it if you want. So in goes the cilantro leaves. Then the onions, these are the deflamed onions, so they don't have that spicy taste to it. Raw onions piss me off. We have some fresh lime. Okay, finally, let's put them all together. We have the diced tomato pieces in here, and then fresh cilantro, lots of red onion. So now we can make our bowl. Finally, mother duckers, I am dying. My breasts are hurting. They're also very pretty and big. Okay, so first, rice. I have some rice here. Again, you can always add, mix, do whatever you want. This is your bowl. So to my rice, I'm adding some shredded iceberg lettuce. And to that, I'm adding a little bit of corn. And then comes my chipotle chicken. On top of that, I'm adding my salsa and then the guac oh my god unfortunately i don't have sour cream i'm so upset so i'm just gonna use cheese but you need to get sour cream i just ran out of that but that's what the bowl looks like and i finished the whole thing up for lunch look at that <laughs> there's something a lot of you don't know I'm just really talented. Finally, moving on to dinner. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything, I'm gonna be honest. Breakfast and lunch is so important to me because I do film around 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. I don't really eat dinner, but I do crave a lot of midnight snacks. So I usually just have some mushroom in here. I also have like asparagus, and this is just like, again, salt, pepper, and this. Roast it in, grill it, and it tastes so good by itself. As you can tell, I really love a lot of vegetables more than fruits. I cannot stand fruits, I hate fruits. The only fruit that I can stand is rambutan. I think that's how you say it. This is what it looks like. It's the only thing that I like I hate apples, I hate bananas. Oh, I love mangoes. It's like a little pulp. I'm a huge fan of rambutan. It's one of the best elite fruits, I want to say. And this guy. Mm -mm -mm. You guys remember the whole wave when they were just like YouTubers trying out spicy noodles and it's the same brand so it is spicy But try this this flavor. It's the pink one. I think it's butter garlic But guys, please try this out like it's one of the best hot chicken flavor ramen noodles on the planet It's so good. Oh, I also munch on croissants sometimes and also I make these kind of peanut butter jelly sandwiches But they're not really sandwiches. They're more like on brioche buns. So it's so funny how I make them This is how I make it really embarrassing because it's so stupid and it's it's one of those, you know cravings that I cannot explain when people ask me like how are you eating that I'm like I don't know it just it tastes good okay it's brioche buns and they literally look like my car ran over them I don't know why they're shipped so funny I put on some like regular butter on top of it and then I toast them I love toasting my buns then I flip them around I butter the other side as well that is so important and, and then I use this almond butter um again it's vegan and it tastes really good so yeah I butter my buns twice this is literally a recipe for a heart attack so just don't do it okay it's just like my craving it's my own craving but yeah I use jam on top and I'm done. I love eating that. <laughs> I love eating that shit. 
So yeah, um, that's the finished video, guys. I know a lot of you are very envious of my body. Stay jealous. <sighs> this video took me forever. It's a pile of shit to clean up. Great. But um, subscribe. See you guys in my next video.